Newton's law says that objects in motion must stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. Then how come most objects that you see in your everyday life slow down and come to a stop? What we have to do is we have to look at what kind of environment these objects are moving in. If you push an object and then let go, it doesn't just keep going and going and going and going at the same speed forever, does it? Well, if we examine our environment closely, what we end up seeing is that we have air particles in the atmosphere. And then the surfaces that you're sliding against also are made of particles. And so are you. You're made of particles. And whenever these particles crash into each other, they push on each other, causing things to slow down and come to a stop. That's called friction. So to make our world a little bit more like the one we live in, we need to add some friction. Friction doesn't break Newton's first law of motion. Friction is just another layer of complexity. So whenever you push an object and speed it up, friction is the force that causes it to slow back down and come to a stop. If we remove the friction, the object will keep going and going and going and going at the same speed forever. Just look at the moon. If it ever slowed down to a stop, it would come crashing down to Earth. But because it doesn't have any air particles in front of it, it keeps going and going and going.